Good morning mga ka DIY. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Raf Teke DIY. In this day, I will teach you how to prepare your net cups or hydroponic cups. I thought this video because I seen many many people in Facebook that have problems on their plants that become small. It doesn't grow. That's why I thought this video to do it first. Please watch and learn. I prepare my net cups this way. I'm using a soldering iron. This styro cup I will make a hole on the bottom this way. The size of the hole is about 5 millimeter. Make it fast so that it will not destroy the cups. So under there are nine holes and then on the side make a window hole on the side. It's in between the two hole at the bottom. It's in the middle of the two holes at the bottom. So make it alternate so that in every direction you will have holes in your cup. Later on, I will teach you also what is the difference of this way on the other cup in front of me so that's it it should be alternate on the next level it should also alternated so that in every direction there is a hole that the roots may come out out of it make sure to do this outdoor because indoor is a uh, there is a bad smell of the burned styrofoam. And I make again hole up at, at the upper side. So that's it. That is what we're using cup. So why we use this cup? Because because this way we do not destroy the structure of the cup the edge is still intact it will last long and it is sturdy still still intact inside that's why the 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 one that we are using before it lasts for many years it will not add garbage in our garbage can it lasts long because the structure is not destroyed when we prepare the cups that's why we use soldering iron and this way we make small holes and in all the direction there is holes the roots will come out of it it will not hamper to go out of the cups there are holes on the bottom and there are holes on the side of the cups in all directions the roots of the plant will come out it will not hamper the growth of the plant and our concern is the garbage that was dumped because of styro cups so we need to make it last long in this way, the cup will last long because we did not destroy the structure of the cup. It will take us long before we dispose it. We will use it for many times. This cup is a 3D printed cup. We are making innovation in our hydroponics by printing a 
hydroponic cup. We are continually try testing it. It has the same diameter but different in height. I choose to to make it smaller because the seedlings will easier to come out. The sun will easily shine on the seedling. The morning sunlight will easily penetrate inside the cup when I use the smaller cup. Because in this cup, the time the, the sun shine, it will not come inside the cup. That's why the design of this 3D cup is smaller so that the, the morning sunlight will easily come out come in into the cup that will shine on the seedlings so what is the, the disadvantage of this kind of cups this one is, is, is already soft the structure is already destroyed it will easily be damaged once the roots come out, once we harvest uh, lettuce in this cup, the edges will come with the roots of the lettuce and it will la not last long. I did not even yet added more slice at the bottom. And in this cup, there are only four holes because if we add more slice on this cup, it will the the coco dust will come out but the problem on this cup the roots of the plant will not will not easily come out it will go around the it will go around inside the cup if the slice is smaller the roots will be hard to come out the plant will be bonsai it will not grow on its uh, proper size because the roots cannot establish because the establishment of the roots is proportional to the leaves of the plant because it's like the tree we, if you observe the tree if the leaves of the tree is wide in range the roots is also wide that is also the principle on bonsai they cut the roots and they put it on a base that the roots cannot come out so that it will become bonsai so same with our lettuce in hydroponics if the roots cannot come out the lettuce will not grow properly even if the roots cannot come out it cannot establish roots that will absorb oxygen that's why the the plant is prone on root rot because there is lack of oxygen in in our plant the roots inside cannot absorb oxygen because there is no space to come out so that's the disadvantages of this cup so if you want to improve this kind of design do not use this anymore but add more holes on it this way using soldering iron so that that's it we already add at the bottom we add also at the side alternately add more holes that is where the root that absorb oxygen will come out it is very important for non-circulating system the oxygen in our system in our plants because we do not use aerator we need the plants to develop roots that will absorb oxygen in the in the system 
That's why it is important that we have roots that will absorb oxygen because we do not produce dissolved oxygen in the nutrient solution because we are not using aerator. Hopefully, it will help you in improving your produce. You may buy soldering iron to make holes in your cups. You may buy cheap soldering iron to use it in your making of hydroponic cups. You can use also heated iron if you do not have soldering iron. I will ship to this cup if cheap 1000 subscribers. I will give all my styro cups on my subscriber who will gi give me a screenshot in my channel. But I will ship it in the Philippines subscribers. At the time that we have 1000 subscribers, we will give away all the styro cups that I have in my system because I will ship already in my 3D printed cups. We only have 100 plus subscribers so please continue to, to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and you may also share it to other people. I will show you the plants that I have in my system. Observe the roots of my plants. It is very healthy and it is not prone to any root rot. These are the roots that absorb oxygen. This, these roots are at, at the upper side. Observe also this cup. This is the 3D printed cup. So that's the roots that absorb oxygen at the upper the upper roots. If that is the design that you use, you will have a good plants. The roots that come out easily. So that's why it is too long. It's about one meter. Because since it was it was a small seedlings, I already put it in my system this lettuce was already in my system when it is ready to be transplanted that's why it already established roots compared to this uh, one they are both the same sprouted but they are not the same transplanted that's the difference of it because the the one that was already put in the system was already established roots but the other one that it is not established roots at the same time i hold these seedlings in the seedlings tray i did not transfer it immediately the other one i already transplanted it when it is still small but the other one, I did not transfer it immediately because I is still printing the 3D printed cups. So we link this in the root uh, analysis. That's why it did not grow up easily because the roots was hampered to grow. While the other one, the roots was already established easily. That's why it grow fast. So these are the plants that was planted in my hydroponic system. It's a non-circulating system. We can add more holes on this uh, 3D printed so that it will have more roots that will absorb oxygen.
So that's our video regarding on how to prepare our net caps. As of the recording of this video, we only have 105 subscribers. So please continue to like and subscribe to my channel. When we achieve 1000 subscribers, we will give away all the styro cups that I have in the Philippines subscribers. This is more than 100. Thank you for your subscribing. Please continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Raft Take DIY. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for your subscribing. Please continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Raft Take DIY. Thank you and God bless.